we got a little box turtle laying eggs right here where we're waxing frames. We're gonna have to move our little waxing station. scaffold today. These with a high price taste. <laughs> Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I hide from the bees sometimes. <laughs> and on this cutout we're doing today, Pete nearly kills himself or scares us and ma <laughs> makes us think he almost did. We're working right next to a, a power line coming into a house and he accidentally waxed it with a five-in-one tool. Kind of scared me and him both. It's kind of a tough job and it was really, really hot out there. Me and him were both taking turns getting up, working on it, but uh, he, he was, he's not handling the heat well these days for some reason. Yeah, he, he wasn't videoing anything while I was up and working kind of at heights. I'm not gonna be videoing much either because I gotta I gotta be hanging on so you get to see the hive really nice interesting hive so here we go into this one we were here the other day with the lift but this wire is in the way got two wires right here at the aluminum basket I didn't want a chance getting it up there around that wire and frying somebody so we're coming back with scaffold I'm scoot the canoe so that scaffold up right here and that end board's missing I'm not. <laughs> it's early. It's, why, why wouldn't you want to do this? It's really early. What's wrong? I don't understand. I think you could do this kind of work. Yeah. <laughs> I can, uh, and I will. No, because your knees would make it do this. <laughs> they will. But I'll get up there. You've done it before. Yeah, I have. And in case you fan state, I'm on Chanix. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pete's Tree Service. Pete's tree and bee removal. Sometimes I remove the stingers first. <laughs> Ooh, stir them up. I'm trying not to stir them up, Pete. Shoot up in here. <laughs> One of us has got to have some relief. Well, this was leaning up against the power line while it was doing it. I know it. <laughs> I'm watching that. I'm here to catch you. No, I might need to hold on to those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's it look now? Looks good. I'm so scared of grabbing that. Yeah, do not grab that, please. Not in my plans. I don't think there's much danger in grabbing that coated, but I don't want to take any chances. All it takes is one crack in that wire and me touching that clear one and warn the data. Okay. Certain things he has to do. Listen to you with one of them. <laughs> he has to listen to me. Yep. Today is Bring Your Kid to Work Day. Sponsored <laughs> by Stuntman Pete. By Dirt Rooster 628. What you need? Trying to figure out which would be the best place to put this high. This might be in a way for getting tools. I don't know if that's too far away. That's why I was looking down the hose to reach the ground. I could put it over you, there. You put it wherever it's comfortable for you. I bring tools around to you. It doesn't matter. Wherever it won't get dripped on is all I care about. That's sort of what I was looking over here for, too. Point that looking thing out. Mr. Randy, show you how to put it on. <laughs> Yeah, unhook those, they go around your back. He's, he's in uniform for the job today. What, these? <laughs> go on my back? Yeah, they hang off your back. Yeah, you don't need to strap it on. You ain't doing 
Ain't doing no strenuous hey, work. Man. Just something to keep them off your face. <laughs> you want some gloves? Yeah, first thing they started all getting on my hand. Not those gloves, buddy. Oh. So Randy knows which ones. You said gloves, I need them. You good? Mm. He's like you with ice, though. Okay, oh, I can't do it. All right, I got it. Yeah, see, he's like you with ice. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I can't even put him on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't gonna fall like a one army. <laughs> right, but he he got as high as he could before he got too nervous to get any higher. You could do that without even getting it. You come up higher, you need to. <laughs> you alright, bud? Yeah. He's still a little nervous over there now. I know he's going to find the bathroom. And he's got the heebie jeebies. He looks like you when you get where he's looking. Like believe it or not, I am sweating like crazy up here already. Yeah, I am, seriously. <laughs> It's humid today. Yeah, that's all I'm feeling. And we got a good chance of rain in a few hours. We'll be out here by then. Hopefully. I don't know how I'm going to enter it yet, but I will enter it. <laughs> right outside the glove, you witch. All right, going for my hair now. Well, you better get down because it's second when you try to hit my wrist. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he corrected you, didn't he? <laughs> no, uh -uh, not yet. You didn't hear him? He goes, no, I spray, I, pl I play disco. Yeah, I heard that. Right, well, that's corrected. You called it Frisbee golf. It's Frisbee golf. <laughs> oh, look, look, he's getting brave. He's getting brave. But I don't hey. need those, buddy. Oh, you don't? No. I'm right here. I got you. <laughs> yeah, he, catch, he catches me. What's he weigh? 70 pounds? Less than. Less? Less than the dog. Dog weighs 61. I think he's at 58. Holy smokes. <laughs> As a, I got a biscuit in the truck. <laughs> I got my donuts. <laughs> you got your donuts. <laughs> Better than a biscuit, huh? Watch your elbow. You're right next to that wire. You're making me nervous. Yeah, I am too, but... Getting stung is making me hurt, so we'll go with this first. <laughs> bring it, bring it, bring it. Let me know if you want the hood for that jacket. We're using the Saracel jacket, but he's got the uh, the cheap hood just because he, that's what he had up there with him, and he had his hood unzipped for right for laundry purposes. So. Nice hood. <laughs> Long ways combed right there. Yep. I'm gonna have to yank the bottom out. Yeah. It looks like it's loose already anyway. Let me get you some tools. I got you. That is some old comb. These are getting a little testy even down here on the ground. They're going after my hair. Yeah, they've been in there a long while. I hope they're only at the end here. Are you sending them after me? <laughs> That's four out of my hair. Yeah, that's all you can see it being blown out of it. Might need that to put back. Look how much purple is on that. I saw it. That's how long it's been here. It's an old stinking hive. Here, I got a wash bucket. You want to throw a strap down? Boy's coming off. Oh, oh there went all the honey. Some of it, but yeah, I gotta put this <laughs> down flat for you. Oh! Goes back. I think it does. Yes. I hope it don't go back too far because our scaffold won't go past that shed. Uh, we'll come up another way if we have to, I guess. We usually do. We got ladders. Probably <laughs> wouldn't come down if it has to go in here. You got the light on the side? See if you can shine it on the high. I see a curved edge on the back of that brood comb. Yeah. 
Well, I'm going to take the first layer out. We'll see if it goes further back. We'll figure it out from then. What's in the shed? It's not right. I don't know, but even if it's empty, it's in the ground. Yeah, I don't think we can move no, it. Nope. There's no way we can move that. No, it's not on concrete. But we can make parts if we need to. <laughs> yes. This is the lock. <laughs> Top. Trusting people. Top notch security. I'm buying it out. Yeah. Had his, he's getting brave with his Kindle. Yeah, he's, he's doing. He's looking. You, he didn't wait you. Look, he, uh, I thought he was fixing to walk through that comb. <laughs> he wasn't watching what he was doing. Right, but he, he keeps talking to it. I yeah. want that close-up footage. <laughs> Part of the hive removal you don't see. We usually eat the whole thing before we leave. <laughs> no, we get a good taste on it. Yeah, we do. I already tasted that on that board down there. Wow, that is different than anything else we've ever had. It really is all running. Yeah, it is. Tasty. Good stuff. And sweet, good Lord. Get in there, boy. You want get you some. Yeah. All right, get the hood up. Move your candle out the way. No, don't put it down. Just move it out the way so it don't drip on it. All right? Lay it up right around there. Oh, that was brood. Why you got him biting brood? <laughs> That's sweeter than the stuff we had the other day by far. Mm. And I think the house had lead paint on it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite sure it's probably got lead paint on it somewhere <laughs> as old as it is. That's a rude stuff. Yes, it is. That's third in at best. And it's, that's deep. As far back as it goes, or it, or it goes well, further than that? As far back as it go up. Oh, okay. Back here, I didn't test yet. Can't tell if it goes that far back or not. The bees do though. You got it running now. It's starting to rain on me, yeah. And ain't the clouds either. I'm about to wash that scaffold off shortly. Yeah, we're gonna be hunting happy here. Do not walk underneath the scaffolding. Yes, sir. Ah, you. <laughs> you can't do it twice. <laughs> she's trying. <laughs> I mean, just. She's right. relentless. Nope, that was a different one. I, I feel it. <laughs> Customer requested some comb honey, and it didn't really fit, but I had two of these little uh, Betty Crocker things from Dollar General, and it's wet because I washed the honey off the outside of it. It got a little sticky handle in it, but there's some comb honey we're leaving for him. Fixing to fill up another one. <laughs> He's getting tore up up there. No, they're missing a the glove. They're getting on my arm. Ah, gosh. And these things are hurting. Channel your inner sloth and move slower. Watch that wire over there. Deep breaths, my son. <laughs> well, the grab top I'd be eating them. <laughs> Suit's hanging right there because it is because it's smoldering hot out here today. I mean, it's nasty hot, super humid, and he was getting overheated up there. I'm trying to move slow, and I'm moving slow, but they're just—I'm not even moving, and they're tapping me. <laughs> I mean, they're on my glove looking like a, a dog humping a leg. They're just trying to sting me through the stuff. Well, 
are there bees? Ain't that what I'm supposed to do? I got enough of commentary out here sometimes. <laughs> There's a big... Yeah, no, you don't! <laughs> <laughs> she went in the glove. You gotta move slower. <laughs> I didn't do nothing right here. You reached up to point at something. Well, yeah. There's like a big that. chunk right here that I gotta get off that kept coming off of each one of them. It's a big chunk with honey in it. But before I get that other one, I gotta get that chunk out the way so it don't keep tearing like that. Come on, I know it's buzzing me right now. Yeah. Uh, that's so bad on me. I just came down from my turn. Pucker Factor 100. I had to use the bathroom when I went up there. Hey, not, not no more. Not for a couple of days, huh? Not for a couple of days. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Just keep in mind, for every thousand you vacuum, that's a thousand less stingers up there. But for every thousand singers, I got at least two. <laughs> or three. I only got stung three times. All in the wrist. It's a miserable hot day today. We're having to take turns because of the heat. Come on over here and get your son. Wait, both of you were the wrist? Yeah. Well, we had gloves on, so they couldn't get our hands. I just repacked the smoker. I was blowing flames by the time I got down. Got a fresh pack on it. Really? <laughs> he must be getting hit again already. You getting stung again already? No, not yet. That was really because you stuck my tool in them. Well, they are hitting the hat. I can feel it. You stuck my tool in the bottom of the bucket. It's in the water bucket. I had to clean it off. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad when I had it. Yeah, it was slick, wet with honey. That's got a little bit of brood on it right there. Yeah, right there. And three open queen cells on the end of it. Four open queen cells. About three, four pounds of honey. One, three, the case. We're on the back end of a flow. Chinese tallow is uh, in plentiful supply over here, so that's probably what most of that is. We're getting into brood combs now. Heavy honey band on it. A lot of brood solid there. Brood. Solid brood. Pete's getting a shower right now. It's just raining on him. I don't know if you can even see that. And solid honey. <laughs> it's just pouring on his head. <laughs> We're working in Champagne's Haven. Nice little spot on the river. You got eggs. They're a little past egg stage. I sent a queen cage up, didn't I? A queen clip? Yeah, it's down there on the ground. <laughs> it's on the ground. <laughs> it was clipped here, and that's when it uh, chunked the honey fell and got it knocked down. Well, that's where it ended up on the last high job we did. Yep. On the ground. This hive's a little bit testy. So we're just trying to. You see that rest there in his natural habitat? <laughs> <laughs> She's on you now. But I'm standing, yeah, right, I'm standing in the, the limbs. Here we go. If you're standing in the limbs like this, I'll leave you alone. Pete. No, she's not letting go. Yeah, just stand still there. She's on your hand now, too, up them on your hand. Now my head. Stick your head up in a limb. Just like that. Well, they're not coming down here no more. Good. <laughs> that is good. It's good and bad. I mean, they're not they're, coming down no more, but I'm up here. They're all up there on yeah. you. 
I got one large chunk of honey right here I can see. And then I'm gonna start trashing the rest of this. Although, we ain't got no more honey up here anyway, huh? Now, whatever we can save, I think there's a bunch of honey on the back of it. Put that brood in the brood bucket. Don't make right. it rain on you too bad, though. I hope not. Because they haven't cleaned it up. I've been vacuuming too many of them for them to be up enough to clean it. They get all that brood on that next one. But it's, this is empty. It's brood, but it's empty. Other than that little, the little patch. The queen here sucks. But there was a bunch of open queen cells, so they may have swarmed recently. Ah, I didn't see the queen cells. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, some, yeah, look, right there, and they're open, too. Yeah, some of the first combs you pulled had five, I think, queen cells on the first two or six. So this could have been bigger and better. Yeah, it was a lot bigger. There's a lot of bees already. Dude, I'm tempted to come jump in the river when we're done because it is hot out here. Thunder. Don't want to hear that. Weather's supposed to be moving in shortly, so we gotta hurry up on this thing. We're taking turns because it's putting a good whooping on both of us. We're getting knocked out there. I think we can beat the weather. We're doing pretty good. You out of the brood now? Get into some hide stuff now. Well, I think that's mostly uncapped honey, but like there's a board here, drop down, then goes down. So they got it attached to there, here. It's a three point. That's that white comb from where that other. Yes. This is where that other stuff is sitting on the base. This is all pretty new. Yeah. All that was built above this after this fell. I don't think they was gonna call the fire department. <laughs> I know the bees want to. If the fire department shows up, they'll stay in the truck. <laughs> These are being pretty aggressive up there, so we're having to smoke them a lot just to get them off the combs so we can work. We're vacuuming a lot. Uh, we are taking turns. Pete's just not recording while I'm up there. And I ain't recording while I'm up there because I need two hands, one to hold on and one to work. Uh, Oh, dude, I forgot to record while we were across the street. One of the neighbors backed a truck in the ditch over there. I had to go pull him out. Or, or somebody working for the neighbor, actually, I think. Uh, new to the country. No driver's license. Didn't know how to drive, really. Backed the truck off in the ditch. Went over there and pulled him out. <laughs> she tried to back it in the ditch again. And Pete's over there. The director, no, turn the wheel, turn the wheel. No, no, no. <laughs> Missed it. I forgot to record. So we're taking turns relaxing in the easy chair while one gets up and works. And we're. Ooh, son. Son. Great. I'm going to be constipated for a couple of days now. <laughs> so that didn't scare it out of me, but I perked it up pretty good. Yeah. I'm glad you hit the. Uh, Guy wire on it. I don't know what I hit on it. That just hit. I heard metal on metal. He went to sling his hand because he had a bee on his wrist or something. Can't do that up there around in power lines. Probably wouldn't have hurt him. He probably would have chunked that five and one he's got. But man, don't want to take chances like that. That's scary. I wasn't going to do this job anyway until they disconnected the line. And Pete's like, no, 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 we can work around it. <laughs> if you feel comfortable, we'll go. 
and I wasn't going to get up there because I'm just nervous on high spots anyway, especially around something like that. But I have been taking my turns. We're right to the end. We got cone built on the other side, some framing that you probably can't see because of the lack of light up there. Too much light out here, not enough up there. Seriously wasting big stuff. Yeah. Right behind. You see how big that is? I do. <laughs> but it's full of insulation and where we can't even get it. Neatly. Yeah. But yeah, as solid. Long as, big. long as we get it out, I ain't worried about it. I don't care. That's two that's a half a gallon of honey. <laughs> see, I was thinking a little more than that. <laughs> it could be. That's a lot of honey. We got bees hiding up in there? Well there was some on that I just pulled out of there. I don't know yet. Not as far as you can tell. Well, I'm trying to, it's hard to get to see it where I'm not stepping in slick and yeah. rain and... We do have a water hose here. We can wash that scaffold off real quick. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. We don't have nozzle and everything. <laughs> Just beat the rain, but he didn't. <laughs> we got the removal done, but we still got to take the scaffold down, load it up. So we really didn't beat the rain. You can't hear me right now, can you? Barely. <laughs> I, I know he can hear me. I, I can tell when he can't hear because he just, uh huh, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> he doesn't understand what he's answering to, so it's like, yeah, uh huh, and. We're done on this and pulling away. We tried to stay dry. We stayed dry right up to the end. I, I mean, Pete did. <laughs> I didn't. I'm, I'm never dry. Yeah, but this is not sweat related. <laughs> Yeah, we noticed. <laughs> Here's where that girl backed off and sunk that truck. Driveway's about 12 foot wide and she missed the whole thing. It's clear, look at it, they pretty sky over there. And it is moving west. It was, head, it was headed to us now. Yeah. I always appreciate when they put up those caution children signs because Children can be dangerous. <laughs> Same as those slow children. <laughs> they are slow, keep them away from the street. You know, they really don't need to be by yeah. They're not smart. Science says so. Anyway, it's a slow, uh, slow church. Slow church. <laughs> Flipped it.